feel free, to, feel free to join me as I pray for the graduating class and for the ceremony. Let us pray. Gracious God, we give thanks to you, for you are good, and your love endures forever. As we celebrate the achievements of class 2432 Alpha today, we thank you for the strength, the resilience, and the endurance that you have given them that has brought them to where they are today. As they move on to their next challenge, endow them with the same courage, passion, and grace that you have given them here, and help them to continue to find the same success in their future. We also take the time to give thanks for everyone who has helped these graduates achieve their goals, whether it is their family, their friends, their instructors, their mentors, or loved ones. We give thanks for the love, the wisdom, and the time that they have invested to help their sailors become the men and women who are standing before us today. Bless this ceremony. May it be pleasing to you and memorable to all who are celebrating. We ask these things in your holy name. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Good morning, Colonel Diaz, Lieutenant Oaks, Chaplain, staff, family and friends, and most importantly, graduates. Welcome to the graduating class of Machinist Make Class 2432 Alpha. We take this time today to mark the completion of long months of hard work for these sailors as they pass the first leg of their journey to becoming nuclear operators. And we here at Nuclear Field A School are pleased to recognize them for the efforts they have put forth. Today's guest speaker is from Tiger, Oregon, and he joined the Navy in February 2016. After completing recruit training in Great Lakes, Illinois, he attended Nuclear Field A School in Power School here in Charleston, and then prototyped in Boston Spa, New York. Upon completing training, he was stationed aboard the USS John C. Stennis, a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier stationed initially in Burberton, Washington. During his time on board, he supported many underways in one around-the-world deployment, after which they re homported to Norfolk, Virginia. He finished his qualifications three months early and went on to qualify for Polson Plant Watch Supervisor, while also being the Work Center Supervisor for his division as a second-class petty officer. In these roles, he supported and led sailors under him through many normal and abnormal evolutions. These evolutions all contributed to important milestones for the ship getting underway and supporting preparations to go into refueling complex overhaul. In January 2022, he reported to Naval Nuclear Power Training Command, where he was assigned an instructor in mechanical equipment, teaching seven classes and supporting his division as the exam security coordinator. He has since become a section leading petty officer, mentoring and leading three classes through Nuclear Field A School. His outstanding performance has led to him being named the Nuclear Field A School Sailor of the Quarter, third quarter. It is my pleasure to introduce Machinist Make Nuclear First Class Surface Warfare Qualified, Matthew Christensen. Thank you for the honor of speaking in front of you this morning. First and foremost, congratulations. It's no small task to be sitting in the seats that you are in today. Your time in the Navy so far has been short, but you've already accomplished so much. Long days, weeks, months of homework, studying, tests, all the while still trying to adjust to a new military lifestyle not to mention all the uniform inspections, room inspections, and fitness tests you guys had to go through. So again, I say congratulations. You guys have earned it. Today, I want to leave you with a few words of advice and encouragement for the road ahead. First, take advantage of the opportunities that come your way. My time in the Navy has been full of opportunities, whether it was just a fun life experience, or it was just an amazing opportunity to prove on myself. I always took advantage of them, and I encourage you to do the same. You will be better for it. Secondly, no matter what you do, continue to always give your best effort. The Navy strives for excellence, especially in this program. But unfortunately, we are all human. Mistakes will be made, and you may even fall short of some of your goals. However, you will see, just like I have, if you give it your absolute all, mistakes and shortcomings can and will be worked past. Lastly, do not be intimidated by the challenges that are going to come up for you. 
As you continue through training, you then make it out to the ship. There will be obstacles. I myself have had times where I felt like things were incredibly hard. However, I have sat in the same chairs that you are today. And just like I proved to myself, you have and will continue to prove that you are more than capable of being in this program. Now, as you celebrate your success today, keep looking forward to the future. The first part of your journey is over, but there is much left to accomplish. Again, time is going to be trying, but I believe each and every one of you can and will be successful with the same amount of effort and determination that you have shown so far. I look forward to your success in your future endeavors out at sea. Military members, let's head shut. Graduating students, I will now proc you to the rank of third class petty officer. To all who shall see these presents, greetings. Greetings! Know ye that by the authority invested in me and reposing special trust and confidence in the patriotism, valor, fidelity, and abilities of these sailors, I do hereby appoint you to the rank of third class petty officer in the United States Navy, as such from the second day of August, 2024. Your appointment as a petty officer in the United States Navy makes you an heir to a long and proud tradition of naval leadership. By accepting this appointment, you are charged with demonstrating these standards of performance, moral courage, and dedication to the Navy and the nation, with which you will serve as an example to your fellow Navy men and women. Your desire to excel and to guide others must be boundless. Your appearance must be a model for others, and your performance must be a continual reflection of your sincerity, attention to duty, and moral responsibility. By exhibiting unfailing trust and obedience towards superiors, cooperation and loyalty to your peers, understanding and strength of your subordinates, you will, great, you will contribute greatly to the effectiveness and good name of the United States Navy. <laughs> Families and friends, please join me in a round of applause for the Navy's newest third class petty officers. It is now my pleasure to introduce the session lead petty officer for Machinist Mate Class 2432 Alpha, Machinist Mate Nuclear First Class Submarine Qualified Zachary Smith. Good morning, everyone, Lieutenant, Chief, friends and family, most importantly, graduates. Nuclear power can trace its history back to just after World War II, when then Captain Rickover recognized the importance that nuclear power would have in the post-war era. Ten years later, in 1955, after an extensive research, design, and development process, Captain of the USS Nautilus the world's first nuclear-powered submarine, transmitted its historic underway on nuclear power message, a date that was over 75 years ago now. The U.S. Navy has an unmatched record when it comes to safely operating nuclear reactors at sea, and you are heirs to that legacy that will carry it into the future. I wanted to take a moment to express how grateful I am having been put in a position to lead and mentor and develop these young sailors. I came here myself back in 2009. Since then, I've assigned three separate submarine units and completed a shore tour at Trident Refit Facility Bang. This is my first instructor tour. That being said, having been where I've been and seen the things that I've seen, nothing compares to the privilege of developing these sailors. This group of sailors that I'm about to present to you has done incredible work over the last 16 weeks, and I'm extremely proud of every one of them. I know they will continue to rise and overcome each and every challenge that lies before them. I look forward to the opportunity to work with these sailors of our past cross again. As you are about to graduate, I want you to reflect on a few things you have accomplished so far. Never forget the things you know that you can do better and work to improve on them. Never stop learning and growing 
And most importantly, never stop fighting for the things you want and believe in, as others will fight for them with you. This is only the beginning of your journey. That being said, it is my pleasure to present to you Class 2432 Alpha. Left. Face. Machinist mate, nuclear third class, Ian Miranda. <laughs> Machinist mate, nuclear third class, Colby Barr. <laughs> Machinist mate, nuclear third class, Nathan Campbell. <laughs> Machinist mate, nuclear third class, Hannah Goodell. Third class, John Langford. <laughs> Machinist mate, nuclear third class, Andrew McDaniel. <laughs> Machinist mate, nuclear third class, Parker Phillips. <laughs> Machinist mate, nuclear third class, Samuel Walters. The following sailors are graduating with distinction with a GPA of 3.4 to 3.59. Machinist mate, nuclear third class, Ethan Douglas. <laughs> Machinist mate, nuclear third class, Irvin Freihofer. <laughs> Machinist mate, nuclear third class, Manuel Lopez Fuentes. <laughs> Machinist mate, nuclear third class, Matthew Parento. <laughs> Machinist mate, nuclear third class, Dante Stifler. <laughs> Machinist mate, nuclear third class, Aiden Webster. <laughs> the following sailors are graduating with honors with a GPA of 3.6 or higher. Machinist mate, nuclear fireman, Bo Burdett. Machinist mate, nuclear third class, Lizette Lacona. <laughs> Machinist mate, nuclear third class, Matthew Poca. <laughs> and Machinist mate, nuclear third class, Hunter Teelking. Each of these sailors exerted a great deal of personal drive, overcame obstacles, and made individual sacrifices to make it here today. Still, there are those that by the manner in which they have completed this training have inspired others. What sets these sailors apart is the consistency in their efforts, their refusal to quit, and the examples they have set. They, they demonstrated the qualities most treasured in the Navy, those of honor, courage, and commitment. Naval Nuclear Power Training Command recognizes the sailor for each class that displayed the highest levels of military bearing and reliability during their training with the following Personal Excellence Award. The recipient of this award is, when I call your name, please stand and remain standing, Machinist Mint Nuclear Third Class, Hannah Goodell. front and center. The Personal Excellence Award will be presented by Lieutenant Oaks and Chief Matthew Jordan. Military personnel, attention honors. From Commanding Officer, Naval Nuclear Power Training Command to Machinist Mate Nuclear Third Class, Anna Goodell. The Commanding Officer's Personal Excellence Award is awarded to the student who has exhibited the greatest degree of professionalism. This sailor stands apart by virtue of hard work, personal dedication, and a demonstrated desire to succeed. Your dedication to duty, exceptional academic effort, and perseverance in the face of adversity has made you an outstanding example for your shipmates to emulate. This performance is in keeping with our Navy Corps values and warrants your selection today as a recipient of Commanding Officer's Personal Excellence Award. Congratulations and well done. Signed, J.D. Anderson, Captain, United States Navy. Military member 
Sears at ease. For over 75 years, the United States Navy has operated nuclear power aircraft carriers and submarines around the world, ensuring maritime security and deterrence. This has only been made possible with the continued support of family and friends. We ask that you continue this vital support as your sailor advances through nuclear power school and then prototype. Thank you again, and we look forward to seeing you in about seven months here for power school graduation. Please rise for our benediction. Feel free to join me as I pray a final blessing over the graduating class. Let us pray. Gracious God, you are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. As one era comes to a close, we give thanks and trust in you as a new era begins, for we know that you are good. We ask that you would go before each and every one of these students and guide them as they continue their journey to the fleet. Be a lamp unto their feet, and a guide unto their path. May what they have learned here be a building block to greater things. Give them the confidence to know that they can take on bigger roles, more challenging classes, and more challenging circumstances because of their time here. Bless them as they grow into the leaders that you have called them to become. Help them to find their unique voices, callings, and abilities, and help them to steward those qualities well. When challenges arise in their lives, May they always find the strength, support, comfort, and encouragement that they need among those that they love and call family. As we depart today, bless us and keep us. May your face shine upon us and be gracious to us. Help us to live lives that are honorable and help us to seek excellence in everything that we do. We ask these things in your almighty name. Amen. Amen. This concludes today's graduation. Graduates, congratulations, and well done. Military personnel, carry on.